Hello. Uh, today we are going to be making easy homemade bread, and we'd like to dedicate this video to Allison and Andrew, who brought um, bread making to Mugnano in Italy, which is where we are. So this recipe um, is inspired by an article in the New York Times about Sullivan's Bakery in New York, and um, it was entitled the uh, No Need Bread Recipe and it consists of four ingredients which we have here flour, water, salt, and yeast and we're going to be adding one extra ingredient, honey because this helps the um, it helps the yeast to expand through the bread and rise properly and it also imparts a nice flavor to the bread so first we're going to take some flour, this is um, soft white flour, uh, type 0, which is good for bread. Um, we'll put some in there. And what's really great about this recipe is that you don't have to be super exact with the proportions. And I'll explain why. However much flour you decide to use, when you add the water, you want to add just enough to make the the dough solid. You don't want to make it too runny, just enough water to make it solid. So first we add our flour and I'm going to be making a larger loaf than I usually do because we're having a, a gathering here today, a big Italian lunch. So there's my flour. Next I will add the yeast. This is active dry yeast. Um, in the United States you would find it as Fleischmann's active dry yeast. I'm going to use about half of a package. Which is about a little under a teaspoon. So toss that in there and then I'm going to use some salt. Again about one teaspoon. You want to be uh, moderate with the salt because too much salt inhibits the the rising of the, the bread. So we have our dry ingredients in there and we're just going to mix them up. We've been making this bread for about two months, almost every day. Uh, so making it fast and easy has been really important to us. So we've come up with some tricks along the way. I have some boiled water here. I'm going to pour in about 100 milliliters because I want just enough uh, boiling water to dissolve the honey. There I have a big heaping teaspoon of honey. Another great thing about this recipe is that you're free to experiment in as many ways as you can imagine. Um, it's a, you can try out different flours, whole wheat flour, barley flour, oat flour in varying proportions, um, but generally you want to have about 50% of it as the, the plain white flour um, because this flour is what makes it rise. It, it's what makes it the bread that, that we're used to seeing. Uh, well risen, soft, um, whole wheat flour gives it an, a nice flavor but too much of it and it doesn't rise very well. Alright, so our honey has dissolved into the water and now I'm going to add some cold water 
And just using my finger, I'm going to gauge the temperature because I want it to be warm but not scalding hot. I should be able to keep my finger in it and not feel burnt. Now we just pull it together. And it's still pretty loose, so I know that I need to add a little more water. Just a touch more. You'll see when you've added enough, it just starts to come together, it forms one solid mass. And there you go, first part done. All you have to do is take a wet towel, put it over the bowl, and you can leave this to sit for an hour or two up to 24 hours. Most of the time I'll let it sit for about two hours close to a source of heat or um, if you have a gas oven, uh, usually with the pilot light in there it stays at a temperature that, that's pretty good for uh, for yeast. You just want to make sure that it's not too hot um, and it's not too cold.